I can give you some tips. I went to like Milan on 12 euros once. We'll talk about that. Anyways, we've got a real <laughs> expert to chat about that. His name's Russell Hannon. He's an ultra economical travel expert. Now I've got to ask you, how, you're, you have a business background, so how did you get into this ultra cheap travel business? Well, you know what, my background's probably a bit different than you'd expect. 10 years ago, I felt I couldn't afford to travel very much. I, I would spend months saving up for a trip and often got back, spent a few more months paying off the balance. And this one time I got back to a $2,100 cell phone bill, ouch. And I made, <laughs> I made the mistake of thinking that travel was inherently expensive. But you know, ironically, at the same time, I worked in lean management and I had to find ways to get better results in less time using less money. And I said, there's gotta be a way that I can apply this toward travel to travel more and spend less. So fast forward 10 years, lean principles are what I've used to leverage the best websites with best price guarantees and price drop protection and credit cards that offer trip cancellation insurance. And I do it all together. And basically I show people how to do the same. Okay, so now you gotta tell me, what are some of the ways to cut travel costs? So we can <laughs> do it on a cheaper budget, but see more. Well, you know what? There's five things that inflate your travel budget, or as I say, make it fat. Fat, F for food, A for accommodations, T for transportation. So basically eating out uh, uh, three times a day, over time will add up to five times your at-home grocery bill. Accommodations, the average family vacation of four actually probably costs about $4,000 in a week, which is really your monthly at-home cost of living. So if you can live like a local while traveling, you can realistically travel five times more in the same budget, just by being intentional and by living like a local when you travel. Okay, so then of those five things that you pinpoint, which yes. one is the best, if you have to pinpoint one to really cut down on costs mm -hmm. for travel, which would you choose to tell us about and how could you do it? Well, you know what, the longer you go, it's accommodations. Shorter trips, long haul flights, it's gonna be the cost of flights. So depending on the duration of your trip. So if you're going on a long trip, re really looking to live like locals, looking for local rentals, uh, usually what I say, the average three star hotel goes for $150 a night, which is five times more than the average one bedroom apartment down the street that rents out for maybe 900 a month or $30 a night. So by living like a local, that's really how you can adjust that. Now for flights, if you're just doing one trip, a lot of credit cards have sign up bonuses. This day of age is quite easy to be able to sign up to a card. Everyone needs to have one and then get enough points to be able to leverage for a trip. And, and what I like uh, with some credit cards now, they have companion passes. So once a year you can bring uh, your spouse or your companion with you and then you get that person to get a card and then you take turns basically bringing someone else with you on those trips. Now you talk about airlines and getting those points and okay, I know there's all of a sudden these new checked yeah. baggage fees that we're all disappointed about here in Canada. How can we reduce those costs? Because I know that's a hot topic right now. Well, you know, it's getting harder and harder to really know what you're paying for a flight until you actually get back and look at your credit card statement. And it's because if you could see inside the mind of an airline, what they want to do is they want to increase the revenues and profits without increasing those posted fares. Because mm -hmm. quite often we look at the posted fare to decide whether we can afford it or not. And then we get nickel and dimed with those fees. So checked bag fees, there's, there's basically five ways you can get around them. And the good thing is we'll go through them real quick. And you don't need to know all five. You don't even need to do two of them. You just need to be able to do one of them. If one of them applies to your situation, you get around the fees. First one, just real quick, some basic information you need to know is check bag fees for the two major Canadian airlines only apply to economy fares. So if you're flying on a flex, uh, flex fare with WestJet or uh, business or premium class with Air Canada, you don't have to worry about it. But if you have an economy fare, if you have a uh, pr premier status or uh, elite status with either WestJet, all you have to do is if you've spent four thousand dollars in the last year with WestJet, they bump you up to what they call silver status and you don't have to and pay then, check bag fees. Okay, well I know you've got tons of tips and you even wrote a book about it, it's right, right. here. <laughs> and uh, it's called Stop Dreaming, Start Traveling. And uh, thanks for joining us and giving us just a couple tips, um, Russell. And on that note, we're gonna have to take a break. Um, yes. Cheaper travel, this is how you do it. Um, coming up though, we've got Social Bites. I'm gonna tell you what's trending in the world of social media today. Stay with us on Dinner Television.